But I'm going to show you the difference between what would previously have been a high carb meal, and believe it or not, I've got a bag of rice, as in one of those foil in the bag rices. I would never have normally used these, but I bought this ages and ages ago. I'm boiling that to show you a portion size, but the dogs will be eating this later as part of their dinner. None of us, okay? The alternative to the rice, I'm gonna make a fridge gravel. So this is essentially the bits and pieces you have at the bottom of the fridge. Again, I've just been over Sainsbury's, I picked up this cauliflower. It's not in the, like the best, best shape ever. However, actually the internal leaves are fine. So the out outside ones are pretty rubbish. They're quite soft and limp. So obviously, essentially we've got the cauliflower, and um, the majority of people, when they trim a cauliflower, would throw that bit away. Yet yeah, that's the best bit for the rice. And save the bits, the florets, for other meals. So I'm not really going to be using much, if any, of the florets. They should just fall off. If you just go round the stalk with a knife and just take it out, the florets will just fall away. So a half a bag of this would be 50 grams of carbs. So half a bag, I've got two portions in there. So essentially 100 grams of carbs in the bag. I'm gonna do two portions. I'm gonna do 400 grams, which is sort of what I would normally do when I'm making uh, fridge gravel for, for the kids. So I've got 160 grams of, of um, cauliflower, predominantly stalk. If I did all three veggies, so I've got cauliflower, carrot, and, and uh, broccoli. In fact, let's put the broccoli and make sure I get it right. Yeah, another 160. So I'm gonna to top it up to 400 with 80 carrot. So there's 400 grams of veg in there. Uh, now I've only got my little chopper, so I am gonna cut it down a little bit. I'm just blitzing it, into, not too fine. You don't want it to sort of go watery, so you want it so it's still got bits in there. Don't blitz it too much. So there's the fridge gravel. It's just broccoli stalk, mostly, and a bit of head. Cauliflower leaves, a little, little bit of the florets, and some carrot. It's about 20 grams of carbs for the entire dish there. That's two portions, so it's about 10 per portion. Um, so I'm gonna fry that off, and then I'm gonna prepare the proteins. But we're gonna fry it. Um, you're always best frying your veggies. Um, good way of getting some of the extra fat back in. I usually add between 10 and 15 grams of fat to fry it in per portion. So there you go, 30 grams of butter. So we've got 15 grams of fat. That's gonna make sure that you're gonna be able to cook it nicely and it won't dry out. Salt and pepper seasoning, but actually add some flavor to it. So add some, all seasonings, all powders, all herbs are carbs. However, you use such a small amount that it has a very tiny impact. A bit of vibrancy, there you go. Right, so. Straight away, it's pretty much absorbed all of that butter of the fat that I've put in there. There's a lot of moisture in the veggie. This could be sweet rice as well, but there's a lot of moisture in there. You wanna use the moisture to help cook it. So stick a lid on it, leave it in quite high for a minute, get some steam going and then just turn it down just a little bit so you don't burn it. It will only take, in fact, if that takes 10 to 12 minutes, this takes about five minutes from start to finish. I know you'd probably, leave, if you had a standard gammon steak, you would probably leave the rind on, but it's never. this is never gonna cook through well enough. It's, it's very thick. And then I'm gonna turn it down just for a couple more minutes. It's almost ready, to be honest. You know, the, the veggies, because they've been chopped up so fine, they are not gonna take long at all. Say, so it's not dried out. Um, but it has a lot of the moisture from the veggies has evaporated, so it will lose weight. This is why you should always weigh your, weigh your foods in the raw state, about 20%, which is normal. It's usual for any baking, cooking, you lose about 20%, 200 grams of this. 
This has got an average of about 6 grams of carbs per 100. That's about 12 grams of carbs. So you're going from 50 to 12. So we're going to use a bit of chip shop curry um, on Ella's dinner. She's going to have the chicken. So there's the difference. It's the same meal. We've just switched essentially one of the ingredients. We've gone from white starch to colourful greens or colourful veggies. Um, and we've reduced the carbs. What would it be? By 80%? 